Today we're going to be talking about dining and eating and entertaining and how we like to do that in our homes. This particular area, I had the luxury of having a couple of different spaces. We've got the opportunity to have a beautiful three metre table, so it seats a lot of people at any one time. But to me, it's a little bit more formal as more of a formal eating, dining experience that you'll have. We've created this space by putting these two beautiful lights over the dining area. And again, I always love to do that because it really emphasizes the look and the feel of this particular space. But the luxury of having also an island bench really close by then allows you to have a more casual experience. It also allows you to have people talking to you whilst you're actually making the food. But because they're so close together, what we've done is that we've actually used the fabric on this stool the same as the fabric on this dining chair, or what we call the winged carver. This is something that people ask me a lot, is that what is a carver? What is a carver chair? And a carver chair is what they call the king and queen chair. So you have your normal chairs in this space, and again, you can seat them all around. And then at the end, it's really your statement pieces. And this is where you can have a little bit of fun by you know, selecting a different style of chair, or you can actually have it more bespoke or customized to then talk to other areas in the space. But let me show you another little dining area that we have. And again, it was another area that I knew that I wanted to create in this home. And this was what is called a breakfast nook. And so your breakfast nook is again, probably the most used space in the house other than your island bench. You know, this is really where we have the breakfast, we have lunch. It's really where the kids will obviously gravitate to. And it's just quite small and cozy. It still can seat, um, you know, as many people as you would on a formalized larger rectangle table. But what we've done is that we've actually put a sofa into this space and then other chairs around there and again you can mix and match them up quite beautifully and again this just brings in a bit more character it allows you to you know showcase what's outside but it's a cozier little more comfortable space so I'm going to style this space up for you now and you can actually see how we pull those elements together So a really fun way to style up a table is to really start pulling together some elements. So here we've got some gorgeous, beautiful little pottery barn um, place charges so that, you know, this kind of sets the tone to the rest of the look. Uh, I actually love using these resin sort of pieces. Again, bringing in those beautiful blue and whites, which again, are throwing the colors back from the rest of the room into the space. Adding a bit of greenery is also a really pretty way that you can actually add some color and also some height. Um, great candelabras. And I actually like just to throw a whole heap of, you know, knives, forks and spoons so people can actually go and help themselves rather than being really formalized. People can actually go in and grab a spoon or grab a fork and actually use that themselves. So again, you can actually leave this out and it actually looks really pretty. Um, I've also used the blue element and, you know, again, these are sort of some shell beads that we've used. So they relate back down to the little um, shell place settings that we have. So it's again, a very simple, easy, stylish way that you can really style this whole look up. Uh, most of these pieces on here are actually from Pottery Barn. So again, they're a local you know, retailer that you can actually go to and you can see how it's just styled up really simple, really easily, but gives you that touch of fabulousness when you're looking at styling a little home.